What's up everybody, what's good? Welcome to this installment of The High Chronicles with me, Micah B. Before we get into the questions that I have on the right hand side, I will smoke a bowl for you guys. First thing I'm gonna smoke is some of that kush that I did show you guys earlier. Here's another clip of it. Bow, look at that shit, look at that shit. Smells beautiful too. Man, this is a beautiful plant. Tastes great. I, I recall one hit that I took of this a little while ago. I was like, just so amazed. And I was like, yo, I'll never smoke any weed as good as this. And I was kind of sad. <laughs> Funny thing about this episode is I've already filmed this episode and the mic wasn't on. <laughs> yo, let's smoke more. Let's take this hit. First question, what do your parents think about you smoking weed? I'm 20 and my parents are completely against it, so I gotta hide and bake. Please answer, bro. Well, growing up was a little bit easier for me than it was for my oldest brother and sister. They were potheads and my mom used to get like super pissed at them when they would, you know, show up to her dentist's office where she worked at at the time and they're like super baked and shit. <laughs> I had it a lot easier than them. She's against it and, you know, she's really religious as, as me. I would just go with, you know, my flow, not the flow. I don't want to be swayed by other people. And as far as my dad goes, man, he's a really funny dude, man. And he always is cracking jokes about me smoking weed all the time and me being high. <laughs> and my brothers and sisters do it too. I never thought I'd be that guy who was just known for that thing. It's whatever. I'm as regular as all the other potheads out there, man. We're our own regular. It's a better way to live. People can argue all they want that say that we're stupid, we're lazy, we don't work hard. I completely disagree. Potheads come in all sizes and shapes and forms. Some potheads are fucking whack. Some potheads are the worst people I've ever kicked it with. Some potheads are the best people I've ever kicked it with. You know, there's no like real stereotype for potheads other than we love this magical plant and it brings us all together. So I think that's a beautiful thing. Question number two. Micah B, are you from Hawaii? Yes, I am from Hawaii. I was born in Lakewood, but then I grew up um, from one to like five. I went to first grade in, in um, Oahu, but I've lived on Molokai, uh, I've lived on Maui, and I've been to the Big Island a lot. My first language was even pigeon. When I moved to Washington, I barely was able to talk to any of the other kids because I sounded so different because I wasn't from the mainland. On to question number three. You should shed some light on the edibles. Is the high difference or delay can you travel with them like on an airplane or cruise edibles man I got some for this episode today I seen you ask that question uh, a couple days ago and I was like man that'd be dope if I introduce some edibles Cushman bakery edibles these are fucking fire the gingerbread molasses ones um, with extreme THC and CBD potency are fucking delicious and they get you super big I remember uh, walking into Walmart we were going snack shopping and shit and all the lights were just insane. I was like, whoa, crazy. I couldn't even play video games. There was this little demo of UFC, the latest one that came out, and I was trying to play that shit, and I was like, yo, this is not fucking happening. Like, I couldn't play it anymore. I was getting too, like, anxious. I don't even know, it was crazy. But I only ate a third of that cookie. I'm fucking eating, like, a quarter just to be chill. And I also have Atomic Edibles, Peanut Butter Brownies, I'm actually not sure about this one, but there's hash in here. Um, looks good though. That shit looks fucking delicious actually. And to address the part of can you travel with them like on an airplane or cruise, I would say, I mean, you can chance it. It's at your own risk. I've never personally done it before. I usually take like an edible right before I get on the plane or some shit and you know, helps me sleep and curb out. All right, before I get to question number four, let's take a hit. Bang go, man. This shit is delicious. It smells so beautiful. I actually have two Van Gogh nuggets that I have been saving. Save it till the end, man. This is the little one, man. This one right here. Size comparison to a lighter. This is a nice little nug, man. This one is real nice, man. I like it. This one's, this one's nice, thick. Smells really good, man. Looks good. Baked crystals. I'm gonna show you some video of this. You should be watching the video now. Up close pictures. Boom. Extreme. I could eat this shit, man. I wonder what this would taste like in like a ice cream sandwich. Let's take a hit of this Van Gogh. 
Because Van Gogh smells and tastes a lot like Dutch Treat, if you guys know what that tastes like. It tastes like it smells. Yeah, that really has a beautiful taste to it, man. It tastes exactly how it smells. On to question number four. What helps you decide whether to smoke from a blunt joint bong? Do you feel you get different kinds of highs from each? Um, yes, I really do feel like I get completely different highs. And when those are combined, it's like a completely weird, epic fucking combination of awesome or, or weird sometimes. I remember I said in this song, Trippy, Swish your sweets, cool, but the bone get me highest. Throw some hash on that bowl, put me on, I do pilot. That answers the question. You know, I do appreciate the bone. Um, it gets me the highest, man, for sure, for sure. I like really great glass pieces. I had another glass piece that was worth a lot more, but um, that shit broke. This one was only 63 bucks. The, our other one was from Hempfest, so I got a discount. It was like two something, but I got it for like 125. Cause it was like the last day, everybody was leaving and shit. So I got deals. Question number five, <laughs> why am I showing you? <laughs> All right, so question number five. Why is there a Norwegian flag on your wall? Well, my girlfriend Kimberly is Norwegian and that explains that. There's not really a long story to that. Not, not a crazy story. <laughs> oh, what? What? The last and final question, um, right after this, I take a hit and then I will say my piece. Number six, what was the reason you started smoking weed? I know for everyone, they all have a different story. What is yours? It was just around me at the time and I thought I was responsible, thought I could fucking handle myself. Everyone around me didn't seem like they were having a fucked up life because they smoked the blunt every now and then. They seemed to do well on their grades. They seemed to do well in sports. I didn't have any belief to say that this was negative. Um, growing up, I was completely fucking anti-marijuana, anti-cannabis. My cousin smoked and shit, but I just thought, you know, like, damn, that's what bad people do. If you would've told me when I was a little kid, hey, you're gonna be smoking weed on the internet and people are gonna watch it and comment on the videos, um, I would be hella disappointed in myself. I'd be like, fuck. But then when I smoked my first joint, I'd be like, nice. That's what's up, bro. Appreciate you. You know, thanks future me. I filmed this twice, and that's a long time, and like, I was already really high throughout this whole thing, like, before I even took the first hit on the camera, and here, I took like, six other hits elsewhere. Ain't nothing wrong with being high, man. I'm gonna get some dabs on this bitch next week, man. Don't hold me to that, though. <laughs> Maybe the week after that. All right, y'all, thank you guys for watching this installment of The High Chronicles. Please like the video, comment. It only takes a couple seconds since you guys are typing so fucking fast online all day, typing like a fucking wizard. It's only gonna take fucking five seconds. Ask a question, I might answer it, even if it's super crazy, you know, just take that chance. Um, much love, zombies out, bow. All right, y'all, appreciate <laughs>